That is one of the coolest things I've ever seen underwater. What do you get when you cross one of these that's got both of these found on one of these that's eaten a load of these? <laughs> this funky critter is a nudibranch. These are a group of hermaphroditic, psychedelic sea slugs found in tropical reef systems. Generally oblong, but coming in all shapes and sizes, nudies can grow anywhere from 6mm to 31cm long. Their name comes from the Latin nudus, or naked, and the Greek branchia meaning gills. All 3,000 known species are carnivores, and more are being discovered every day. Morning all! This morning we are off to shoot nudie branks. I'm going to go and set my camera gear up and jump in the ocean. They both go off or just one? I think just one. Just the your left. Ah! I've got a month of shooting here. And now I'm down to one stroke, which is a bit of a nightmare. Far from ideal. I'm not very happy, but I've had to improvise. I'm going to be shooting with one torch and one stroke. So I've just got to get on with it. After a quick march down to the jetty, I grabbed some gear, hopped on the boat, and set off for nudie rich waters. Um, so dive site on the back of Marble, it's one of the best dive sites here for nudibranchs. Um, basically a steep sloping reef in some places a vertical wall and it goes down to about 35 metres. This next dive site is called Paradise and let's hope it takes us to nudie heaven! Despite their bright appearance, finding a tiny sea slug amongst a healthy Technicolor reef wall can be challenging. After 15 minutes I was getting worried we wouldn't spot anything, but sure enough Marble delivered once again. I tried out a few different photographic techniques, including lighting the back of the nudie bank with a torch, which gives the illusion of glowing from the outside. I managed to get a decent mix of species, including some more interesting than others. Here's Scuba Junkies environmental officer Dave with some more info. Here we have a beautiful leopard chromodorus. This nudibranch gets its colour from the sponges that it eats and this advertises its toxicity. This yellow tip phyllodesmium is an aeolid nudibranch. Some aeolids feed on hydroids, which are related to jellyfish, and they're capable of stealing their prey's stinging cells to use as their own form of defence. This is a solar powered phyllodesmium, otherwise known as a rasta nudie, and as its name suggests, this nudie is actually capable of harnessing sunlight to produce energy for itself and it does this using those little brown patches which effectively act as solar panels. Very, very nice. Lovely, I think some of those backlit ones could look really good. That's what I love about nudies is that they're, they're so colourful. They're like every underwater photographer's dream and they don't move as well, even better. That night, whilst going to bed, I heard the far-fetched tale of a nudie so weird it might as well have been from outer space. Today is no ordinary time, because we are on the hunt, believe it or not, for a two-headed nudie brand. And I wouldn't <laughs> believe it if I hadn't have seen the photographic evidence with my own eyes. And this was the man who found it. Time yes. for a nudie treasure. <laughs> two-headed nudie it exists and uh, I think I took about 300 photos of it 
the one's going to come out, right? <laughs> I think we had a bit of scepticism amongst the ranks that we would actually find the two-headed nudie. But within about two minutes of dropping down, this man here, Naz, found it. Yeah? Yeah, yeah. Uh, I apologise to everyone for spending so long photographing it, but that is one of the coolest things I've ever seen underwater. So there we have it. Nudibranchs are fascinating creatures. Some steal their prey's defences, whilst others power themselves using the sun. Occasionally they even have two heads, but they've all got at least one thing in common. They make for great photographic subjects. And this is just what you need after a long, stressful day on the reefs. How you getting on there, Will? I'm in here. Look at this, look at this view in the bath, soaking it all in. <laughs> Sign here for cameras only. Cameras, cameramen only. <laughs> yeah, tough job we've got.